Welcome back everybody and today I am back with Mix Daily Training. Hopefully you're all doing well and let's go! Mm. Am I liking or hi karma? Why do you have black screen? Is the stream even going or no? Hello. Uh, okay, stream is going. But here it's crashed. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I thought the stream isn't going, but if it is, it's good. It's good. All right. How are you doing, Karma? But here it's crashed. Okay. All right. Oh, and I got an opponent immediately. I'm playing Smudge Taba Dorbidi. He's from Spain. Okay. Bishop f four. I'm tempted to go c five. <laughs> that bishop h four or bishop f six is how you play. But I'm not sure. I mean, bishop f four looks a little weird in my opinion. Here. Hi, I may go. What's up? How are you doing? Bishop h five. Is he gonna go g four? Or no? Not sure. Oh, he does. Oh, God. <laughs> um, what's up? I'm doing great, Alan. What about yourself? Preparing for my next to be nice. The great to GM. <laughs> yeah, Bishop G6, I guess. Something changed. Yeah, yeah, Pookie. How are you doing? Hi, Vinny. What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing fantastic. Final days of the summer. Oh gosh, G5, am I like dead loss already? Or or what? G5 doesn't look too pleasant. Little Tuesday incidents here about four games. Okay. Queen D3. Hmm. Okay, Queen D7, Rook D8, I mean this feels logical. Yeah, here it's raining all day. Uh, okay, this is a very logical move. Sacrificing a pawn. Yeah, it's raining. It started raining at like 10 here. And then it's still raining without like stopping. Jerva, thank you, Pookie. So it goes 95. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a difficult question. I'm not sure to be honest. Both are super strong. Problem's nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure gotta take. It's rapid, yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, Firuji is also strong in rapid. So it's very difficult to be honest, I think, to decide who is stronger. We'll see today, I guess. Uh, all right, I'm gonna sag the pawn. Bishop G4 perhaps wasn't good. Little panda. Mm, yeah, I mean, of course, gotta take with the rook, I think. Rook D6. 
rate of 6 GF. Mm -hmm. Here, if rate of 6 takes, it has to go E4. Yeah, but I think Fabi is the favorite. <laughs> Hello, Peter. I mean, E4 is forced, right? I hope I didn't miss any tactics. Pink shouldn't have missed anything here. Yeah, e4. I said like queen f7. To perhaps maybe attack this f2 square. Wow, you you are playing a new game. That's crazy. It's unusual, Peter. Nice. King G two. Ah, yeah, the position isn't great. Just to point out. Cool, I may go. Ah, Darko, wait, I, I, you, you both have green nickname. Hi, Darko, nice. You both have a green nickname, sorry. What's up, Darko? Should I play h5 or no? I don't think it's worth it. Phew, the position looks tough. I did get darker back, nice. Nice, okay. Cool, guys. Very... Sounds exciting. I can't say it's the same about my position. Doesn't seem exciting. <laughs> Looks quite, quite, quite sad. White is an understatement. I don't know, keen H8, just for knight of six is in check. <laughs> Looks terrible, to be honest. Wow. That's a lot of games. Good luck beating them all. <laughs> Of it or no, no, I'm not that guy. I mean, sure, it's it can save your results, but I mean, maybe you'll blunder at some point. Thanks, Darko. Yeah, draws are boring, especially against weaker opponents on region. feel like unbeatable i mean it felt holdable but then in time terrible feelings left my my body and then i just played something terrible and then traded the queens it felt holdable for sure it wasn't worse the whole game but then time trouble and <laughs> everything that i built up for the whole game just got destroyed in a matter of moves Yeah, queen c4. Here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Time trouble, it's pretty much impossible to beat Hikaru. Yeah, like, okay, if I would have f pawn, it would be holdable. When I have both double pawns and this, oh goodness. What did I sign up for? Why didn't I just play g5? 
G5 would be fine. Should be 5 I can take, but should be just 3 queen d7. I'm gonna play an arena kings. I'm gonna play it. And not planning to anytime soon, to be honest. But you know, it can change. Hmm. I'm sure he's thinking so much. <laughs> Any move pretty much gives him a completely wrong advantage. Except, of course, for some blunders, but like. Any move just makes my position sadder and sadder. Yeah, knight e3, good move. Um, I don't know, queen e8, I guess. I don't want to. I want to keep the queen on e5. I mean, this just looks, of course, very, very sad. But I don't know, rook a4 does that do anything? Maybe can surprise him, or is it that bad? And I should just play like bishop c7, rook a4. If queen to d5, I get bishop c7. If queen b3, I get rook b4. He gets queen b4. I get bishop f8. It's sad, but it feels like my rook is at least tiny, it, teeny tiny active, you know? Like at least something. Queen c2, bishop e7, I guess. Well, my bishop wasn't even hanging, so maybe g5 was a better move. Because e would get queen e3, right? g5 would be a strong move, actually. I missed that. But then you would get knight f5, so maybe it wouldn't be strong. Mm, yeah. Yeah, queen c2. Rook c8. Avoiding a rook trade. Yeah, I mean, I just gotta do something avoiding uh, major pieces. Just like, maybe pawn trades are fine. But like, any pieces trades, it's just uh, pretty much... I'm voluntarily losing the game. Gotta try to gotta try to keep as much as much tricks in the position as I possibly can. I think. Queen B three, Rook B four. We'll continue trying. Yeah, Queen D three. I thought Bishop C five. Preventing queen d7 because otherwise queen d7 forces the queen trade. I think, like bishop c5. If queen d7, I can take take and take e3. So it's like rook d4, queen c6, rook a2. Yes, I mean it's maybe not le de not dead lost, and it's also clock is quite good. I think I would say. Uh, of course, position is still super sad, but I think I can win a pawn. No one I get like too too excited, but I think that's a pawn or not. G5 can be another option to be honest, but something greedy inside me feels like I have to take the pawn. But then I ruin my rook position, so perhaps I should simply go G5. Hmm. Easy game, okay, congrats. Congrats to Reza. I cannot give him much time to think, that's a problem as well. Should I just go rook d8? Setting up a tiny trap rook d4? Or should I just take and like, I don't know, something? And hope? Nah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm greedy. Takes, perhaps not the best move, but I'm not sure. Now at least it won't feel like terrible that I'm even down material. I'm not gonna play Arena Kings. Oh yes. <laughs> I mean perhaps actually hold on. Why didn't I ever consider going back to A4? I mean it's somewhat active like Rook D4 and stuff. Rook C1? What is the point of that?
G5 now? Oh no, but then the rook hangs, I think. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, rook d4. Sure, I'm just allowing him a rook trade, rook d1. Uh, but then, then g5 can look promising and interesting. Yeah, rook d1. Takes. Okay, takes with the rook, then g5. I really want to play g5. I'm not sure if it's, if it's a good move, but I don't know. I wanted to play for like past 9, 10 moves or something. Because like, if I get rid of these double pawns and his pawn chain breaks, hold on, rook b8, rook b2? Any scared of that? Should go gf. gf this, this is maybe a more precise line. gf. So this and an e5 may hang as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, rook b8, knight g6, king h7. Problem is this, I cannot take e5. Okay, goes queen e4, knight g6, say threat. Uh, gotta take, I guess. Knight g6 looks very scary. Yeah, king h1. Uh, mm -hmm. Rook b4, knight g6, king g8. Queen d5, king h7, queen c5. No. Mm. I don't know, rook before. I don't know why, but I just feel like I have to play it. Perhaps it's her own feeling, but I don't know. Feels needed. Because now, like, if he moves the queen of this uh, a h1 diagonal, then, like, queen c6, queen a8, I mean, the, I can get some some attack which he may be scared of. So, yeah. Yeah, knight g6, king g8, queen here, queen there. If this king h7, if queen f7, I'm happy in this end, you queen of 5 queen of 3 I'm good, right? So, king g8, queen f7, I guess e6, queen g6, no, I think it's right there. Yeah, queen f7. If he takes, then I'm happy. And the end game there. If he takes c5, queen f3, I'm just winning by force. And queen d8, king h7. Also happy there. So, yeah. Any super long time. Yeah, but e6, queen g6, e7, king h7, queen c5, no, 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 but wait. What if I simply take e7, e8 is protected, and yes, king h7, e8 is protected, e7 hangs, queen e4, rook b2, queen e4, check, check, queen e4, king g1, rook b2, mm. Thank you so much for the following, you stay here on the channel and have fun. Uh, check rook b2. Should go rook b2 immediately. Mm. Here, queen of 5 rook e2, rook d7, a5.
Oh wait, yes, rookie one immediately. Oh. I missed that. Okay, I'm forced to go back. Then he takes the pawn, I guess. Queen c6, rook b2. But there it's good, right, if he takes. Queen e5. Check will not hurt. Uh, and now like rook to e8. Here. Uh, check. Here. Yeah, dirty flag, but uh, oh, I mouse slipped. I was him. Moshtaba Dorbidi is from Spain. Good him, thank you. I mouse slipped at the end, blunder in a rook, but okay. Uh, yeah, but this game felt terrible. Nah. Oh, good job, thank you. And thank you for the follow. Oh, wait, ah, we got a sub on YouTube, thank you. Not sure who it was. Oh my god. What was this? Alright, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, this was last... Uh, last uh, second where you were just pre-moving. Uh, I didn't actually play terribly. All the blunders came in time travel, huh? <laughs> Interesting. I thought, yeah, there were so many mischances. Can you analyze, please? Yes. Okay, I, D4 works. Alright, you just simply sack this pawn and then temporarily and go bishop g4 and then better slightly. H3 is easy, g4, yes. Yeah, of course, just g5, I'm fine. I miss g7, and I also miss 95. This I lost the pawn, I was worse, but he didn't manage to win it. And then queen b7, gf, yeah, I actually managed to equalize. And then, okay, blunders there, I mean, this was already just pre moving, so like. Uh, these weren't really blunders. So I just made three blunders total. One is in time trouble, second one in time trouble by most sleep, and third one also. Okay. It wasn't a terrible game. You know, it felt really bad while playing it. Bishop b2. Rook d4, rook d4, queen d4, queen d1, king g2, no, e5, knight f4, queen g1, that's good. Rook d4, bishop d4, rook d8, that's also good, no? I mean, it has to be. Check, e5, aha, uh -huh, bishop c3, and this, bishop d2, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, bishop d2, bishop d2, not sure. If I go queen e2 now, with the, the idea of 94.1, it looks good. Uh, and takes. Okay, plus 9, yes, let's go. Okay, it has to be b5. Yes. Mm, is it king b6 or c6? Or no, I mean, okay. Most likely is an either king a6 or b6. This is a c6 or king b6, I think. Uh, I'd guess, but I'm not too sure. King b6, king c4, c6. That leaves me thinking that I play c6, king a6, king c5, c7, b5, b6, king c6, b7, yeah, I think so. Yeah, then king a6, right? Of course, push, push this. Nice, plus 12. Ooh, let's go. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, very, very crazy 
position. Yeah, when 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 he had a draw at the end. Of course, yeah, this was a move slip. But yeah, right, rook f3 is a forced trans position to the dead draw pawn in game. Um. I don't know, queen f3 looks good, right? He, that he cannot take e6, if bishop g6... Bishop g6... Hmm. Hmm. This, 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 ninety five. Uh huh. I don't know. No, but what is the move then? Oh, well, that was pretty obvious. E6, King G4, because Queen G4, Bishop of 5 Yeah, it was a pretty obvious. Completely missed it. Knight of 5 uh, What will he do? His Queen is trapped. I'll go for it. It has to be that. All right, D6. Uh, but still, what if I simply take Bishop 5 King D8? I uh, he wants Knight D5. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Makes sense, you don't want to lose your queen. Just like that. What if I go queen d6 then? Mm, knight e4, I guess. I guess so. Uh huh. And knight g6, d, knight h1, ef, my knight is stuck there, right, guys? I think so. So cd, if I go knight d5, takes, takes, takes. And then isn't this just good? Well, that was easy. <laughs> um, I don't even know what else to say. That was pretty easy. Okay, so queen of three, king g1, and knight of four. If bishop of two, I can simply take the queen, bishop of four. I don't know what to do. And g of four, I don't know what to do as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what to do. Queen F3 feels temp well tempting and forcing, right? But not sure. What if I go here, here, and then C4? Bishop F2, I take Queen C4, I take, and this I go like Queen A7, C4. Yeah, I think so. No, ah, yeah, he has E3. A3. Now, I gotta think. Rook C2? Huh. Perhaps simply Rook C2. I'm not sure. What will he do? He moves the bishop, I simply mate him queen f2. Moves the rook. I mean, there has to be something. Yeah, just rooks it to puzzle, just ends there. Okay, king d8, so I attack the knight and the bishop at the same time, I guess. Yeah, bishop e4. Uh, if king c7, then he gets queen d3, and most likely he more or less gets a fine position. So I'm thinking maybe just take e3 first and then king c7. Or maybe something else. I'm not sure. Maybe something else. I mean, it cannot be king c7 because then it will be 3 versus 3, so the same amount of pawns. Uh, I feel like it is queen e3. Can't really explain why, I just feel like it has to be correct. But still, I'm gonna sink a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and now just king c7. Oh no. Ha! 
Yeah, that was a, a, a somewhat weird puzzle. You win a pawn. Our favorite type of puzzles. You win a pawn. Uh, both have super exposed skins, but you want a pawn. And your the puzzle is done. <laughs> okay, but I mean, if 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 I solve it, I, I I won't complain. You know. Definitely will not complain. What if I go queen c two? He's forced to go here to skin h six. Rook e six. Rook e six anyways. Queen f seven and just gf. And take push the pawn. No, it wasn't rookie six. Yes. All right, rookie it's threatening your mate, and now you go queen g two. Oh, that was weird. Um. Okay. When this yesterday's lesson, true. Yeah. Very wise for words from the one and only BM Karma. A pawn is a pawn. A wise person once told me that the pawn is a pawn. But if I go like bishop e4, king c3, bishop of 3 he takes bishop g4, rook g6, h5, king g3, and these two pass are scary. Bishop e4, king c3, bishop f3. Looks good. King f2. And push, I guess. Yeah, that was a nice one. Right, let's go one more. Oh god, why did I do one more? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Queen e2, king g5, rook g8, queen king f6. Right now I'm two pawns down. Um, mm -mm -mm. Queen e1, king g5, queen g3, king f6, rook e8, queen g7, threat. Whoa. Is that actually correct? Yeah, yeah maybe. I mean, queen e2, right? No, we will stop until 3900. Uh, ah, check here. And then it. This and takes. Uh, 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 uh. This looks ugly. For both sides, to be honest. This looks absolutely ugly. And to who is more ugly position to be honest. <gasps> this is so ugly for both. Oh gosh. Looks absolutely terrible. What if what if what if what if queen g6? Rook h8 bishop e8 just playing on trapping the rook then like knight of seven. This looks very weird. Uh, I'm a pawn down. No, th th I no. Th this puzzle sound fun when you have a lot of possibilities. Fun puzzles when you get plus thirteen rating. Uh, th th and these puzzles usually have one or two possibilities, which is everything's worse, and you get more rating. Because when you think when you have twenty possibilities, you can think for twenty minutes, and then you solve the puzzle, you get plus one rating. So you need to solve certain of these puzzles to get the same amount of rating. So you solve for one very quick one when there was just one move. So this isn't fun. This is suffering. And yeah. Hmm. Just like a million moves which look literally the same. Yeah, but if you're going for a grind if for a grind till night thirty nine hundred, then the other ones are better. Because here if I need to solve twenty five puzzles to get one rating point, and otherwise I would need to solve two to get 25 rating points. Mm. 
No, but this just looks... Like, it's so crazy. What is three minutes past and it feels like they just opened the puzzle. <laughs> no, I don't know. Many lines look tempting, but then when you look deeper into them, they just look ugly. I don't know, F E. <gasps> this looks interesting, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, wait, can you have to knight h1? But king h1, queen h6, which is a winning in game, isn't it? Plus 5. Yeah, that was a crazy puzzle. Okay, let's go. No! No, 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 no. That was a good run. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't want to be here for 3 years. Thank you so much for the follow, Toro Liale. And you stay in the fun. I, I, I solved more than enough puzzles, like 8 correct, 2 or 3 failed, I think, so, no, I'm not doing more, just this puzzle, this puzzle, I think, when I first open it, I get a heart attack while just looking at it, so, no, no, level 7, uh, white pieces, oh gosh, I almost spilled my water, I solved a very difficult puzzle, so, it's a good, way to end it all, you know. Takes. G3. It's gonna take a bishop D7. I guess or 95 maybe. No, okay, bishop D7. Cancel. B3, bishop B2. Takes, takes. Here, ninety five. Yeah, ninety five. This rook eight, knight of six, takes, takes. Mm. Ninety five. Wait, ninety five. Rook eight cannot. Can't I take an ninety seven? Yes, I use bishop d eight. <sighs> Do I want to say my expert opinion, but it feels like when you make this move, your position cannot be good. I guess let's just continue like rook a d1. Rook e8 though, yeah. Oh, c5, wow. Uh, queen to f4, attacking the d6 pawn. Yeah, I... I still take a knight of six, bishop of six, bishop of six, at least. Wait, wasn't I winning? Knight of six, bishop of six, bishop of six, and bishop of one, queen g5. Mm, yeah, I was better there. Definitely, like, better slash winning. Right, knight of six, his phone structure is just, yeah, I miss queen g5. And I noticed it right when I already played the other move. Mm, okay, let's go like at least e4, e5, or something like that. h6. When we build blindfold, no, we're never gonna try it. Because this is just pure. Uh, pure. I don't even know like how to say it. It's just completely terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna get destroyed. Hold on, what if I... Okay, I'm gonna go for something weird. Queen trade with the idea of f6. And if he goes f6 himself, bishop c1, bishop f4, and I'm taking d6. Does that make any sense? 
f6, gf like rook to e1. Hmm, I'm not sure I'm gonna try it though. And then rook e1. If king f8, bishop c1. Bishop f8, I take. Or should I not take? Oh. Take no this b5 bishop b7 he gets a uh, rook e8 so bishop six I mean okay let's take it I guess yeah b5 but I guess something like rook e4 with bishop b7 idea can be quite exciting maybe I can even take rook c4 not sure King h7, bishop p7, and he he escaped uh, the rook g4 check. Nice move, actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, is it deep, rook e8, rook f5? Rook f5, f7 hangs. Bishop b7, I take f7. Rook e7, I take, then take f7. Otherwise, if king goes to g5, I get like rook g4 check. I'm gonna risk it. I'm not sure if it's good there or not. My idea is rook f5. I think it works. But of course, of course, I can be. Yeah, bishop g7. Uh, my rook is un un unprotected. So. Possibly I can just go maybe king f3 or something. Then bishop b5. Oh god. Looks scary. Rook f7. Rook f7. Uh, king g8 or king g6 is needed. And I go back rook f3. Rook a7, rook e3. Wait. This actually isn't bad, is it? Wait, my rook is on f5. So I take king g6, I go here. So it is rook g4, of course. Yeah, rook f3. If rook f4, bishop e5 would be unpleasant. And I have this, I go rook here, and then bishop h4, or bishop d6 threat, right? Yeah, rook d7, he has to protect d6. Then bishop h4, trading one pair of rooks. What do you mean, fun time together? I would play one nil blindfold against stockfish, or what? Uh, g4, bishop g3. Because my bishop is quite terribly placed on g3. Takes, of course, takes. B takes c. Uh huh. Here. Takes, takes. Bishop of eight. He protects this. I think I check never hurt anyone. And now rook f5 preventing d5. Thank you so, so much for the fall and just taking upon 1337 Gibbs. Hope you have a nice day here on the channel. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you for the follow. Rook d5 pinning his rook to d6, I guess. Uh, bishop d6, bishop d6, rook d6, rook c4. Okay, I have to take. Ah, and he takes rook c4 immediately. Wow. Adrian, thank you. Uh, I mean, I think h3 protecting the g4 pawn. This. Uh, now watch me play him. No, sorry. Bishop f8, rook d6, rook h6, rook c6. Yeah, I cut, yep. Rook d6, rook a2, rook h6, rook c6. I have three, he has two. I mean, it looks promising. Don't write chess.com, please. Chesscom trap. Uh, rook a6. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, don't write chess.com or don't put a dot, please. Chesscom is very... 
uh, yeah, Mubot is very uh, strict. F3. Yeah, yeah, you didn't post the link, but Mubot thinks the dot uh, chess.com is a link. Only chess.org as well. Okay, A4. Oh, sorry. No need to donate, but no. Nah. Not watching anybody's games. Sorry. Uh, King F4. Wait, A5. Am I messing it up somehow? Uh oh. Yeah, chess come like that. Yeah, yeah. What if I go G5, King D7, Rook C5, here, 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 G6, is G7. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Johnny D. Looks G4, G5, King D7, this, King D7, G6, this, this, this. I mean, this should be good, right? So G5. Rook c5, rook c8, king e6, uh -huh. king f4 now, I play, not uh, protecting my pawn, the winter, yeah. Oh, but now, now he has rook g2, so my idea doesn't work. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, rook c5. And like rook e5, cutting his king and pushing my pawns. Rook e5, rook e1, and then just like g6. I'm not sure, but I'll go for it. Yeah, g6 here, here. What if I go rook e4, rook a4, g6, king d5, g7, rook a8, king f5, king g5, c3, so rook e4 now, oh no, or g6 immediately, g6, rook g2, rook g5, take, take, c3, g2, mm. or do I just go e1, then g6, and then push. Six this Oh and I'm also running pretty long time. Rookie four this G six King D five G seven there No I didn't like rookie four C three Rook C four C two Uh I don't know why. I took the check what's up. Rookie one this G six C three this this. No, this should be winning. I think. And yeah, g6. G2, king f5, right? And just like king f6. Okay, a5. And then a6. a5. Yeah, he goes here. Rook. Rook c1. C two. Um. A four can be five can have six. Four can have be five can have six can a five g seven can be four. This is good, I think. Just play a six, removing his skin. King of six g seven rook c two. G seven. And simply rook c2, g8. Okay, that's very nice to hear that. A5, uh, queen b8 cutting his skin off. I don't know, king g6, push, king f5, push, king g4, and push. Check, push, 
let's just go G3, item from the checks. Uh, check, 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 and boom and mate. Nice, that was a good game. I think it was a good game. Though I, I could have won, I think, by force, knight f6 instead of bishop h3. Uh, right here. Knight f6. Ah, no, okay, actually, this is this. This idea of queen d4 needs to revive. So, okay, so I played 4 1 nil. That was smooth. GG, thank you, Johnny. 4 1 nil. That was a very smooth game, actually. That is very nice. And he played 11 nil nil. Wow. <laughs> so, knight c6. This, yeah, I got a good position. c5. Ah, I had this queen h3, knight f4. Makes sense. This is this. e5 was better. But I like this f6 idea. Rook f3, I go rook f4. This, this. Yeah, and then bishop g3. h3, rook c2. This, this, and completely won endgame. My idea was that if he would go king d7, is that I'll go g6. And now if he takes, I go g7, g8, I'm winning. And if rook c1, I go. Yeah, I think I was planning to go. Yeah, king f2. No, I was even, I think, planning to go here. And I think this is another pr relatively simple win. Because, like, I push, go rook a4, his rook is busy with that, and I can simply push the f1, so that should be a win. He played king e6, king f4, this rook e5, rook e1, g6, is this, and I managed to win. Very, very happy with the game, actually. Uh, yeah. It was a very smooth one. Okay, king g6 mistake, maybe somewhere fast to win, but like... I went... I went safeness over the speed. Safeness is not even a word, right? Mm, security over the speed, I'd say. And this is my game's life open and watch Shabador BD. 315 for him and 3 nil c for me. I believe with 62 accuracy. Yeah, I, I just, I think it's all because of that uh, terrible blunders at the end. So, in the opening, yeah, queen d7 was an inaccuracy. I should have played g5. This, I simply have bishop b4. Even though I have a weak pawn, I can, I remove this, then like, knight d4, queen d7, rook d8, I'm fine. This, I should have played rook a to d8, uh, protecting the pawn. And if it takes g6 pawn, I go like queen e7, d4 ideas, computer says I have good compensation. This is this, he was much better. Then he was any inaccuracy, he should have played e5, just gain more space. Nah. This is queen d3 mistake, he should have found queen e2. And if I go bishop c5. Ah, basically just lagging. If I go bishop c5. Alright, this, this, he gets e6. Because in the game after this is this, uh, he doesn't have e6 because no, nothing protects it. Computer suggests I should have played rook gate. Yeah, I was debating whether I should play rook gate or rook a2, but I took. He had to go for rook f1 because now rook d4 and I equalize. Queen b7 takes takes, it was completely equal. Then in time trouble, he made a blunder, king e5, he had to go for rook to e7 with a draw. Okay, I played rook g3, which was a blunder, I should have played rook h4 with the idea of playing h5. If takes, I take, take this. Rooks, king somewhere, this, 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 and I'm winning, king h5, king h4. But okay, we started pre-moving, he go for rook b4, I took, rook f3 was a blunder, he go for rook d3, I mouse slipped, playing g5, I think. I didn't mean to play it at all, I'm pretty sure. Or I did, I thought he would play something else, but okay, it's fine. Yeah, of course, he had to take, but of course, yeah, rook f3 was a blunder. I do for king h4, because here he simply could have taken king g3 and draw. But as he had less than a second, it was impossible. And rook h3, rook f3, I flag him, and I was taba. Door bd, rook h4, of course, rook 2 f3, and rook 2 f2, or like h4, or rook a4, rook in h4, like anything works. Queen e2, g5 doesn't work, but rook e7 with g5 idea. Uh... Rook e6, no? Rook b4, Rook g3, Rook f5, and Rook f3. But yeah, okay, the last blunders at the end, like, didn't 
weren't technically blunders because I mean, when you're pre-moving with three seconds, you cannot really make best moves. All right. But yeah, I definitely could have played a little bit better. Messed up the opening. I mean, it was fine. Queen of four, uh, bishop of four. This is this, this, this. Bishop d four. Technically, I'd say, I'd say, I'd mark that as an inaccuracy, because I simply have d four, and then after knight e four, I get bishop d six. Takes, takes this bishop. No, no, no. Yeah, this I take, take, bishop d four, queen d two, rook f d eight. And yeah, I, I equalize. I'm not worse for sure. I was scared of playing d4. I uh, should have shouldn't have been scared though. Bishop d6. This queen d3. Queen d3 was actually a an inaccuracy as well from him. Uh, he should have played queen to b3. Both attacking the b7 pawn and also uh, allowing his rook go to like d1 and then attack my d5 pawn. It would be slightly better here. Queen d7 was a huge mistake for me. Yeah, I completely, I don't know, got distracted or something. Should have played g5. Bishop g3, bishop b4. <clears throat> and then 92, 94 with equality. I completely blundered g6 pawn, though fortunately it wasn't hanging. King h7 was yet another. Okay, it was a fine move. A takes, takes, knight d5. Rook d6, yes, I am much worse now. <clears throat> I also don't have moves, as it felt like. This, this. King g2, king h8, I'm struggling to make any move at all, rook a8, queen c4, he's playing well, bishop d6, that was a mistake, yeah, yeah, I was surprised that he didn't go for like e5, and bishop f8 or something, now queen e4, with the threat of like f5, then e6, he's like better, about to win, queen e8, e5, rook a4, Queen c2 was good, rook c8, queen d3 was a mistake though. He should have went queen e2, and the idea is that after bishop c5, knight e5, rook a2, it's e6, hi Gucci, what's up? Then f5, and he's better, because yeah, his pawns are very strong. Here, rook a2, this, rook a4. And that was a mistake which lost all the advantage he had. Should have played rook f1, which I think the idea of continuing to push and push. Queen here, queen there, rook e6, rook e2, bishop f8, and then king g3, rook c4, h4, a5, and then like f5, and he would be better. But okay, I played rook d4, rook d1, this, this, g5, and queen b7 was a mistake, which completely, completely, uh, yeah, he just with this move completely lost all the advantage. Should have played h4. And then, yeah, rook d8, but then he gets like takes, takes, and then, no, well, maybe he shouldn't just take. But for example, he goes h5, a5, king h3. His idea is this, he has a strong pawn, and he's slightly better here. Yeah. Oh, his computer says it's equality. No, okay, you should go rook d5, queen c6, queen f3, rook d5. It's a draw any, everywhere, pretty much. And now it's sinking and it finds rook f1, and it will be better. Okay, I'll end because it's an un, unending thing. Okay, queen e4, rook b2, king h1 here, knight g6, king g8, this, 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 here and here. I had queen e4, maybe an easier draw. But I went for this, rook b8, this, 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 he has no time, king g8, queen e5, queen b6, king h2, queen c6, just going back and forth, rook e2, a5, of course, a5, he could have taken, then I would get queen d6 with an easy draw, but I gave it queen d5, now I got this, a queen to rate, uh, this is this, of course, yeah, king f4 is a mistake from practical point of view, you know, computer says it's still a draw, let's play king g2. But yes, yet less than two seconds is already impossible to play the best moves. This was a huge blunder. He should have just done like any move. We say draw. Because and rook g3 was a blunder back from me. I should have played rook h4 with the idea of h5, and then rook e4, and then transform into a completely win pawn and game. 
so for example you go through to f4 here I go king ah, also king g6 is an idea as well right here king g6 king g5 completely winning rook d4 I get h5 and then after after takes I take this 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 I'm winning then rook f4 I get king g6 king g5 I'm winning as well and rook h4 if he goes he goes king f5 I get h5 take 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 in h6 I'm completely winning and if he goes king f4 I get a good move h5 king g3 rook g4 takes 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 king g6 I'm winning as well so yeah king f4 g5 this g6 was a blunder just like rook b4 with idea of rook b6 check with equality uh king g6 rook e6 this is this, this and it was pre-moving yeah rook f3 complete blunder gotta try like rook a3 of course or something like that g5 was a complete blunder rook f3 and i'm winning rook g3 was a blunder back he had to go for rook f5 and he is completely winning rook f4 this 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 rook f3 was a complete blunder back I should have went like rook f2, in a 4 like rook a2, h4, h3, completely winning. Rook g2 was a blunder. He had rook f3, takes king g3, king f3, with a draw, and then rook a3, this is this. He got flat, and was name much tapa dorbidi. That's a crazy game, but okay. I held pretty well. It was much, much worse, but held extremely well, like a lion, I think. Now into Evans we go. Into our most favorite opening in the world, the Evans Gambit. Mm, today I think we yeah, we were planning to check this bishop e7 line. Uh it's, yeah, of course. The only move for white is d4. And let's see book. And then we are gonna check this knight to a5 d6 and also stockfish favorite uh, one of stockfish's favorite knight to h6. I think that is the the best, the absolute best we can aim for because I mean we, we cannot really check anything. And then tomorrow quickly we'll check this bishop b6 line, I think. Because it will be somewhat simple. If you don't sacrifice anything, you will most likely get into some sort of Gucco, like right, uh, Italian. So it shouldn't be too too difficult. So bishop e7, no, not here. Bishop c5 and then bishop e7. Bishop e7, we have d e, e d, knight a5, d6, and knight h6. Stockfish really dislikes d6, it says it's an inaccuracy because of queen to b3. Let's see how humans. Okay, humans reply knight to a5. Then we take king f8. So it is forced. And then we go queen to a4. And then king f7. And then we take queen a5. And then b6 is popular yet. And e takes d is also popular. E, let's go with e takes d, c takes d. Pretty strong GMs played at Savian against Fedosev. Fedosev managed to win it. Okay, then I'm gonna go to that. C6 is an inaccuracy by Stockfish, but most popular by Human Knight. F6 is the best by uh, Stockfish. Then we go. We go Knight C3. I think it's logical. Or we castle. Then rook to f8, knight c3, c okay, king g8, it's a mistake, but because we get strong move e5, but they have to go c6, and then we will continue. So, e d, c d, c6, knight f6, this is an inaccuracy, no, 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 it's fine, c6, c6 is an inaccuracy, that's why I thought we will not make it as the main line. But yes, knight f6 is the best move. 
we go castle rook f8 knight c3 king g8 is an inaccuracy which humans do computer suggests that the best move is c6 now and then we go queen e4 something similar happened in cv and versus feather save rook e1 bishop g4 not knight g4 of course and then we go like here here h3 bishop to d7 e takes d knight d5 rook e5 knight c3 this bishop f6 no there we get queen d3 but like bishop f5 knight f3 bishop g6 rook e3 with the idea of knight e5 and white is just slightly slightly better king g8 on the other hand is an inaccuracy because white gets a strong move e5 and after knight to e8 we get we get knight e5 bishop g4 knight e7 queen e7 then we go knight g5 with this threat of queen d5 and queen b7 uh, if there is h6, there is d takes e, and yet there is c6. If c6, we can go like queen c3, bishop f5, queen b3, king h8, uh, rook e1, h6, knight of c, bishop d4, and this, this knight is just like terrible, so we can take, he cannot take back forced to go here we go bishop a3 bishop f3 g takes f and if he takes 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 this I don't know. but yeah we are better here rook f7 rook e6 we are much better because we have a strong bishop very strong pawn ideas like rook a1 and we are better if d takes e we go queen d5 king h8 d takes e h6 queen e4 threatening mate and also attacking the bishop if h takes g we simply take queen e5 queen h3 here queen b3 rook f7 takes b7 attacking the rook even though our rook hangs we attack the other rook this bishop is here and we are slightly better we have a strong bishop and they have a terrible terrible pawn structure well we have a pretty good one so they also have instead of this they have bishop f5 but then we can take this queen e7 with the idea of bishop a3, queen e5, bishop a3 anyways, and this queen, d, queen d6, if h takes g we get rook a d1, and this knight is lost, they go queen f6, we go rook a d1, they go rook d7, we go a great move knight e4, and pieces are overloaded, if knight e4, uh, let me remove that arrow. If knight to e4, we simply take, take bishop f8. We are winning. And if instead of knight, if, if instead of knight e4, he goes bishop e4, that's of course a blunder because we get queen d7 and we are winning. So after knight e4, they are forced to go here. But then we go queen c1. This hangs. We win that. And then we'll be two healthy pawns up and we are better. So like that. Uh, they also have h6. We go h3, bishop c8. Queen d5, king h8, knight d4. Uh, this one is a weakness. They go queen e6. We can take, take f4. Bishop to d5, rook e1. D takes e, d takes e. And we are better once again because these ones can be weak. We have a strong bishop. We have some, somewhat a passer and we are better here. Uh, and also here, c6, it's an inaccuracy because we go queen here. And then they are not in time to safely save their king we get knight e5 king has to go back to g8 we castle queen b6 we avoid the queen trade go here and after he takes knight to e4 we go knight d2 we temporarily we sacrifice the pawn which if that's temporarily or permanent but bishop f6 we go rook a1 bishop f5 we go like queen f3 this thank you so much for the following just stay here on the channel one cyrus chess world um this h5 97 queen d8 king h1 with idea of like f4 or something i guess or f3 bishop g6 95 this f3 and we are slightly better even though we are pawn down they have a weak king and we can create an attack i'm gonna go more deep into that so that's done for d6 i think oh wait we also haven't checked b6 the main line we go queen to d5 Provoking bishop e6, and we go queen to b5. 
bit of a six. Takes, takes. 95 takes, takes, takes. We win a pawn. They go knight f6, we go f3, protecting the pawn. Rook e8, queen d4, queen e7. Then we castle this queen b4. Uh, no, we don't go queen d4. We go queen to f2. King g8, a4, and we are slightly better because we are a pawn up. And yeah, we have a good pawn. So that about it. That's about it for this line. Then also knight e6. Computer says it's fine, but it's dubious, I think, from human point of view. We can simply take, take. Then we go castle, d6, maybe d2. They are pawn up, but that's a very weak pawn, and their king can be weak. Go bishop d5 with the idea of taking, and then this pawn can be weak, so they go bishop f6. We take, take. Then uh, take, take, queen e4. Then they go a5, rook fd1, queen e7. Then we go queen c6, bishop d7, queen c7, rook f c8, queen b6, rook c3, knight f1, and more or less equal, though we were going for a slight advantage. Where did we lose it? Okay, it's pretty much 0-0. Zero, zero. Hold on, let's think here a little bit more. Aha, we have bishop b5 immediately. Computer suggests knight to a3. Knight to a3 with a nice idea of like knight c2, knight e3, and perhaps knight f5 to this weak square, maybe knight d5. Also, this pawn is weak, so yeah, that's a nice idea. So we go knight a3, the castle, we go knight to c2. This is bishop g7, rook b1, rook b8, rook e1. And after king h8, we go g3. And even though we are a pawn down, this pawn, as I said, is doubled for them. Knight to e7, we can simply take, take. Then we go like, we can take, take, bishop f7, we are slightly better. Position is equal, but they have weaker pawns, and... Oh, uh, yeah, we are just slightly better. But so we suggest a better line is queen to c2 on e2. This h4, and that we have good knights and good bishop, and they have very weak pawns, and we are slightly better here. All right, that's about for 96, pretty short line. Also, there is 95, and e takes d5. After 95, we are gonna go bishop to. Let's see. What are we gonna go for? Because we have played knight to e5. Uh, Magnus played bishop to e2. Bishop e2 is the best by Stockfish. So we are going to choose that. E takes D and D6 are the options. If they go D6, I'm going to make it the main line. It looks more interesting. Then we are going to go Queen E4, C6, D takes C, D takes C. This is Castle. That's what we can play as Black. Uh, knight F3 or F4, Bishop D6, Knight D3, B5. This this is like four knights. With, or three knights, right? e4, e5, knight f3, knight e6, bishop c4, knight f6, knight e5, some similar uh, spirit of the position, knight e5, f5, queen b6, king h1, takes, takes, castle with equality, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not gonna go deeper into that. Uh, and e takes d, we take, mm, what do humans play? d6, so is the best move, knight f6 was played as well, and f5. Gonna check them all, and also I'm interested, curious, just to see. Uh, so this, this, yeah, yeah, that is true. Okay, d5 is an inaccuracy. We take and queen g3, d knight d4, knight e7, knight b5, knight a c6, knight c7. What is this? Queen c7, brilliant move. This bishop e5, queen e5, this, knight d2, bishop f5, f3, knight d3, take, take, king f2 with equality. Crazy line. Uh, so d5 can be interesting. I'm gonna mark it not as any accuracy, but it's an interesting move. Bishop f6, bishop f6 is a mistake. There is e5, bishop e7, and then. Um, we give my too much active play. Queen f4 with idea of bishop c4. 
uh, we go here, they go there, this, knight b5, this pawn can be weak, g5, knight e5, knight e5, h4, bishop g4, knight d4, bishop g5, h takes g, this, this, bishop e2, queen e2, I guess, yeah, queen e2 with f4, white is slightly better here. So bishop f6 is a mistake, knight f6 is an option, and d6 is yet another option. Both are good. Let's start off with knight f6. If knight f6, there is e5, this queen to f4, knight h5, queen to a4, only moves for white, this bishop h6, and bishop f8, and apparently just forcing a draw. Okay, <laughs> that's about it for knight f6. And if d6, we take this queen g3, uh, knight d7, bishop g5, knight g6, h4, knight c6, bishop e3, mm. bishop e6, knight bd2, queen e7, knight d4, bishop h4, queen h2, h5, rook b1. I'm not sure what are these lines, to be honest. Takes, takes, why is the pawn down? Long side castle, short side castle, both are trying to attack. Black is slightly better, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, knight d4, bishop h4, queen h2. Knight d4 takes, h5. Oh, was it? Okay, castle. g3, bishop f6, queen h5, and then it's, I'm gonna say it's unclear, I'm really not sure what's going on, I'm not gonna go too deep to, uh, yeah, too, because it's crazy, uh, instead of castle, there is f5, this, this, e5, bishop g7, uh, takes, queen takes, queen takes this, check, mm, king e7, bishop d3, this pawn is weak, idea is g3 with compensation, I would say. Something like that. And the final line is e takes d5, c takes d. Let's see how humans play here. Finish time with c and yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go for the draw. Even if it's gonna be bad, I'm gonna fight. Okay, people play d6, but then again, there's this queen b3. So d6 is a mistake, an inaccuracy. Uh, we've seen these lines already. This knight of six, queen b5, rook f8, queen b3. Why slightly better? We've seen this in the first line. It was d6 immediately, I think. So, yeah, that's for d6. Stop, we suggest knight f6 though. And then d5, this bishop d3. Oops, castle, castle, c6. Oh no, c6 now loses. Castle, ca no, okay, we don't castle. We, 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 we play c6 now, knight c3, d6. Um, castle, castle, h3. The knight is somewhat bad here on a5. Rook e8, rook e1, h6, bishop e3, bishop f8, rook b1. Bishop d7, knight d4. Mm. This isn't look good for white. d6, castle, castle. Yeah, white is struggling here. Bishop rook e8. Instead of rook e1, there is a better move. Bishop e3, h6. Then we go rook c1 immediately, bishop d7. And we can take, take queen b3. This pawn is weak. Rook b8, rook fd1, bishop f8, queen b1 with b5, e5. If takes, it's scary because of bishop b5. I know, so fish doesn't like queen b1 anymore. Bishop c4, queen e7. And we repeat. And knight e5, this, this. Bishop e6 and black slightly better. Something like that. Very, very, very hard. Very hard. But I think I'm gonna make the 99, 95, but the d6 line the bait because I think we check the most there. Uh, 
Now the main line, the best is e takes d, of course, and then knight f6 and black slightly better. If you're gonna play this as black, that's what you should aim for. So you should, uh, after, even if if you take the pawn, you bishop is bishop c3, bishop e7, take knight f6, d5, knight e5, c6, d6, castle, and you get a fine position. Seems like that. I'm gonna end the stream for today, guys. It was quite fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Crazy Guinness Life opener by managed to uh, clutch up. Great puzzle solving. A very happy how I played against Stockfish. Just dominated him. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. And I'm gonna end the stream. Don't forget to join the Discord to name some well team. And we'll see by Vampire by Karma, by Gucci, by Two Blechik, by Johnny D, by. 1337 Gibbs by Fun Time Together by Imego by Darko by Tyout Pi Pi by Jackie May Brian by Peter by Pookie by Panda by Windy by Alan Playhouse and everybody who was here. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and bye bye. And bye, hey, it's Take care, everybody, and bye bye.